Hi there, everybody. Welcome to another vlog with me, Azzy, your commanding officer. Um, so today I wanted to do a gameplay vlog because uh, I wanted to show you something that I've been playing lately um, at the same time. So what you're watching right now in the background is um, Road Not Taken by Spry Fox Gaming Company. Um, this is fairly late game. I'm on uh, year 10 of 15. It's a roguelike game and it looks really cute in town, but is really hard, especially as you start getting to the higher levels. Um, and I kind of suck at it, so if you play this and are an expert, please have mercy. <laughs> um, but so first I wanted to update you on some of the stuff that's been going on in my life. Um, first and foremost, I have a new mic, which I am using right now. Uh, you've heard it already if you've been watching um, my Let's Plays with Foolheart. Um, that would be the Hammerwatch, Temple of the Sun, uh, expansion campaign, and chariot. Um, we're also going to be using it more in future as we, well, finish up chariot and hammer watch, although we've, we basically did that one in the course of a couple days, so I will simply be uploading the episodes that we already have recorded. Um, but you're also going to be seeing, or hearing more of it as we are going to be doing a, um, uh, sort of let's play of various, uh, fan created maps for Hammerwatch because we ended up going back and um, also playing the whole original Hammerwatch camp campaign ourselves and had so much fun. It's such such a good game. If you haven't played it you really should invest in it. It's also not that expensive so consider it. Um, but there are some really cool looking uh, fan maps that have been made so we're going to be um, playing a couple of those. Um, other things, I have defended my masters, which is part of the reason why things have been so um, sparse of late, is I've been preparing for that, slash covering from that. Um, things have been uh, a little bit intellectually crazy, in addition to me actually having to get work done, so I've been sort of slightly on hiatus as I let my brain rest a bit. Um, so there's that. I did um, participate in a Minecraft uh, ultra hardcore, uh, I suppose you call it, tournament um, with a bunch of the other people from the Watches Game community. So that will be starting to go out on May 4th at around three in the afternoon, if you care specifically what time. Um, I will be sharing that with you all. I think we have about 10 episodes worth. I might be trying to upload one a day, or I might be uploading them beforehand and releasing them one a day. So we'll see. Um, but so that was exciting and it was fun. And that also um, leads me to announce that I will be joining the uh, vanilla Minecraft server that several of my fellow Wuggles, as we call ourselves, <laughs> have started. Um, so there will be some cool stuff happening there. I think what I'm going to try to do is actually make a fancy and nice looking roller coaster, since that's my favorite thing to do on Minecraft anyway. Um, but we shall see. Um, so obviously that will come out when it comes out. <laughs> um, uh, crap, what's the actual... There is an actual fun get-together date, I believe, this weekend for our first episode, and I might consider streaming some of it, but we'll see. Um, next thing is some of the ways I've been clearing my brain of Master's stuff. Please, um, my boyfriend and I got a PS4 so that we could play Bloodborne. And wow, was it worth it. Oh my goodness. If, oh, I don't want to go out telling people that they should buy a game system solely for Bloodborne. And somehow I suspect they're going to end up releasing it for PC anyway. But I will tell you, I can understand why they only released it on Bloodborne to begin with. Um, 
first of all, funny enough, the game controller actually lends itself better to the gameplay than I think anything else that you could use for it. If you're going to try and play it on PC in future when I release it for PC, buy yourself, buy yourself a game controller. I can't imagine playing it on um, keyboard and mouse. But it's so incredible. If you loved the Souls games, you are going to love this. It's Bloodborne takes all of the stuff that I loved about Dark Souls 1, including how brutal it is, <laughs> and puts it in a completely different setting with all of these new rules. I have little tight, like, theories that it's not completely separate from the Souls world, but you never know. And it's just as dark and weird and insane and creepy as the other games are. Possibly even more so. I love the aesthetic. It's gorgeous. It's fantastic. The gameplay feels really smooth. The story is really interesting. There's like sort of puzzles to figure out with how, like there's actual time progression in ways that the Souls games didn't have. It's wonderful if you are even thinking about going out and, and getting that to play, do it. Um, that was an awfully long way of saying Bloodborne is awesome and I've been sinking hours of my life into it even if, you know, I'm not playing it. I've been watching my boyfriend play it. We both have like 20 hours or something in it. Um, each. Um, and then the other thing that I have been doing is um, writing more of my fantasy novel. Um, I have finished uh, chapter 10. I feel like I call it a fantasy novel. I'm not sure I necessarily have a right to call it a novel until I've actually written more than half of it. <laughs> um, but I am ending uh, part one shortly. Um, those of you who are interested, I suppose I will link you to a... I, I will show you how to read it if you care. Um, Yes. So, oh, uh, I should probably give an ele elevator pitch. So, elevator pitch is, um, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm, I'm crap at these. I'm so crap at these. Okay. So, Crown Princess Adarin of House Dovan becomes the only remaining member of her family when a dragon attacks their city. She and her guardian, Rurik, Hurry to the stronghold of the Order of the Kinsguard, a guild responsible for the safety of every royal house in the 300 kingdoms. There, Adarin can live in safety as she trains to take back her kingdom, but Rurik knows there was a traitor who wanted the family dead, and it soon becomes clear that House Dovan are not the only ones targeted. Even as she hopes to reclaim her family's throne, and struggles to deal with an unusual form of magic with which she has been blessed, Adarin will have to face the fact that she has been caught up in something much larger than simple family struggles. And, um, I did end up having to, like, pause, write that down, because I'm really not good at these, and I wanted to, like, get in all the important stuff. Um, so, yes, that is more or less a good summary. Uh, cool. There are... Three races, I don't really, well, okay, two of the, uh, they're not strictly separate. Um, I don't want to go into those too much, um, but suffice it to say there are dwarf equivalent, there's a dwarf equivalent, a human equivalent, and then the draug, the undead. Um, and I don't really want to spoil how that works out. So if you're interested, then go read it. Um, I will leave a link in the description in case any of you are interested or care. And with that link, you will also be able to read a um, creation myth that'll sort of give you some of the background um, if you are interested. So cool. Um, and now let me actually move on to some of the forthcoming stuff. Thank you for bearing with me through those nine and a half minutes. Um, so thank you very much for 250 subscribers. It's very exciting. And as we are inching our way towards 300 subscribers, I am starting to prepare what will be the um, 300 sub uh, event. <laughs> um, 
And uh, so what I have in mind essentially is a Steam tournament that I think we will be doing in the sort of weeks leading up to that. Although obviously it's always conjecture because I can't ever guess when exactly I'm going to get more subs. But um, so there's going to be a tournament through my Steam group. So if you are interested in potentially participating, I don't have more details for you now, but I will release those in future as we get closer to 300 subs. Um, if you are interested in possibly participating in a tournament with other people through Steam, please do um, go ahead and uh, join my Steam group. I'm going to leave a link in the video description again. And then, last but not least, um, I have gotten comments about, uh, or at least one comment that I can think of, um, about me possibly playing with subscribers. Um, and to that, I do want to mention a lot of the people I have collaborated with are actually also subscribers. So we're sort of doing each other favors, but then also kind of people that we're... <laughs> um, However, for those of you who do not have channels, um, I'm not going to say much of anything about it right now, but I will point to the Steam tournament and just say, hold your horses. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> um, so that's basically all I have for you. Uh, thank you for hanging in there the whole way through this video. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay going on in the background. And um, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.